Ice, Bronzeburg, and what in the Mrs. Delphi is this? <laughs> so I'm pretty sure some of y'all have been seeing this video go viral for the last couple of days. I wanted to give my opinion on this as this loophole with a leftist agenda or, you know, more of this obscene type of things is coming into these schools. And I just don't understand because I don't ever think that I've ever gotten a response. Well, nobody did, but I don't think anybody has really heard anything from the teacher directly choosing to dress like this. Now, what you see on your screen is a male, a male with a prosthetic breast, like just using, you know, going into school with a wig on and all this other stuff and the, the shop class in Canada. And I understand in Canada, they're really filled with a lot of this, this leftist stuff out there. So as we understand, you know, a lot of this stuff is good. A lot of policies and a lot more things is going to happen. I can't call it democratic because usually that's affiliated with the United States. But, you know, uh, a lot of this stuff that's going on in the West is giving more of these credence to, you know, the male get into women worship and all this other stuff. I won't discuss that any further, but just the fact that you're finding a lot of these males trying to be more like females, right? And so I was watching this and I was just like, you know, why are they doing this in a school? But at the same time, videos that I've made on Bet Thy Children has been to spread the idea that besides this whole entire propaganda, that you're gonna find more of this stuff going on in your school and who they're trying to target, primarily Generation Alpha. I was gonna say Generation A, Generation A, Generation A, Generation Alpha, and only Generation Z, because there's still some, you know, generation populations of Generation Z that's in high school now. So if you see this video right here, let me play it. I mean, like, <laughs> we're going with a saw, and this thing right here, and I'm just like, what the hell? Is, I'm like, you should use that thing to cut that damn prosthetics that you wear right now, mister. You see this on your screen? I, I mean, look, how far do you go? Like, god damn. It's oversized titties to, I don't even know, y'all. It's crazy. Shout out to King Royce Lopez II for a video. But I just wanted to get to this um this article right here, this one right here, just to read a little bit so for context about what happened. Canadian school defends trans teacher who wore giant breasts to class, prompting protests. Shout out to Zachary Rogers. And of course, the Canadian school is going to go for this because Canada is going to go ahead with the leftist agenda, of course. This is no surprise. Ontario, Canada. A school board in Canada is reportedly defending a now infamous transgender teacher who went viral once videos and photos spread of her wearing giant prosthetic breasts in class. Students at the Oakville Travelagar High School in Oakville, Ontario, allegedly snapped photos and caught the teacher on video and then shared the footage online. One video shows the transgender teacher with long blonde hair, short tight pants, and a long sleeve black and white striped shirt operating a table saw to cut some wood. According to some, a certain set of features make the teacher appear clownish and sexist. Well, clownish is the word, sexist, I'm not really sure. It's clownish, an employment lawyer at workleylaw.com told the Toronto Sun. It seems sexist to me because of the exaggerated nature of these breasts with nipples protruding. I think a lot of young women at the school wouldn't just feel uncomfortable, they'd feel mocked. If a non-transgender woman teacher appeared in an exact same way as the te transgender teacher, they likely be reprimanded. The presentation of the transgender teacher caught on video and in other photos is beyond the scope of what any reasonable employer would expect. Nobody would be surprised to see an employer stepping in and saying, we need you as a teacher to come to school and dress professionally, the employment lawyer told the Toronto Sun. However, it seems that the Halton District School Board is standing behind the transgender teacher at Oakville High. HDSB Chair Margot Shuttleworth told the Toronto Sun that protecting 
their employees' gender rights is the stance the school board is taking, they are standing behind the teacher. The transgender teacher reportedly previously identified as a man while working at the school as soon as a year ago, but now identifies as a woman. The school board claims the te transgender teacher is extremely effective, and Shuttleworth even claimed that all the kids really love being in a class because they're expecting for this clownish act to continue, according to the Toronto Sun. Yet the videos and photos of the transgender teacher quickly spread online and ignited a fierce wave of backlash. The school board acknowledges this, saying it has received some comments and calls on the matter already. There will be protesters and anti-protesters, Shuttleworth told the Toronto Sun. I do know there have been phone calls made to the school that haven't been the most pleasant in nature. Well, don't try to hide it. People would sit up there saying this is nonsense, right? Shuttleworth added that the school board wants to make sure that the teacher is protected that, and that everybody remains safe. Um, and, and when they say protected, it, it's, it's always just these like random words they try to add out there to say they should be able to dress however they like. Because then if you are the one that comments back and you say something about it, then they're sitting up there saying you're committing an act of violence for speaking out, speaking out against that quote unquote transgender teacher. So I find that amazing. Despite any possible protests or backlash, so far the school board has refused to name the teacher in question yet acknowledge their existence and that they are a teacher at Oakville High. Students have already expressed some concern over the transgender teacher online with one allegedly saying on Twitter, alongside, alongside pictures and videos that the kids here most definitely don't think it's normal, but realistically, we can't say anything. Last year, the teacher was a man. I don't think the school can fire him. In an op-ed for the Toronto Sun, editor Anthony Fury said that students and parents are right to be concerned. Right to be concerned, but don't have the right to say anything or want to take further disciplinary actions to say that that teacher shouldn't be dressing in the school like that to cause a commotion and cause a scene for you know, the other students that's in the school. The situation just isn't normal and shouldn't be allowed to continue, Fury wrote. This has nothing to do with something like transgender's rights, but then again, why would you say that if that's supposed to be reportedly a transgender teacher? It goes beyond an incident of wokeness or political correctness. That's bullshit. The story has gone viral, not because the teacher identifies as trans, wrong, it's going, it's going viral because everyone knows it's completely inappropriate for someone to present themselves th this way in a professional environment. Fury said, added, excuse me. The Halton District School Board hasn't said much else regarding the transgender teacher or any actions being taken, only that it's a personnel matter and that some people online have incorrectly identified the teacher as another educator at the school named Stefan Hanna. While we cannot confirm the identity of the individual in the photo, videos, radio segments, we can confirm that the individual is not Stephen Hanna. The school board said in a statement, according to CBC News, Stephen Hanna is a staff member of the Halton District School Board who is an entirely separate individual and is completely unrelated to this matter. Well, as I always like to say, I call cap on the whole entire thing. I just think that the problem that's being issued by the powers above, and especially because we're in the last days, a lot of this buffoonery and a lot of this mockery is going to come out to the public in which they're trying to introduce this or indoctrinate this to the upcoming school children who are transferring from being young men and young boys and girls into being young adults so that they don't see a problem. They see a transparency with someone who identifies with a male the previous year and wants to identify as a female the next year. So my whole entire thing is expect more of this to happen as the days go on, the years go on until the ending of time, because that's what the whole entire plan is to make a lot of this confusion be relatively normal to the average person. And so that the kids grow up with the mindset, yeah, I remember that the teacher used to be a male, but now they're a female even if they wear fake breasts or, you know, wear all this other stuff to appear like a woman. So give your thoughts on what you think in the comment section. Peace.